news you can use. This is going to be some interesting stuff. There's, we're going to go through a lot of facts and figures. If you guys are interested, you could write some of this down. Uh, specifically, we're going to break down what's going on with the eviction moratorium and the foreclosure moratorium, which are scheduled to expire here at the end of the month. Actually, the eviction this month, the foreclosure next month. Uh, the federal government has passed through several bills, actually been three of them, uh, monies to give, in theory, here's how it works. They give the money to the renters who are behind in payments. And then that money is to get to the landlords to make up back payments going back 15, 16, 18 months with the start of COVID. Uh, the total that they put out was $45 billion. Now, one of the hitches in the giddy up is that the federal government had no way of mechanically getting that money to people. I, I don't understand why not, because they're the ones who dispersed all of the the, the extra money that they've given to everybody in the United States, and they've been able to get that done fairly effectively about three times. But for whatever reason, they couldn't distribute this money. They didn't have the infrastructure set up. So they punted the ball and they gave the money to states, counties, cities, depending on where you're at, um, to distribute that money to folks that are needed, that need it. Of the 45 billion, 33.6 billion has already gone to the states, counties, and cities to distribute. Of that 33.6 billion, only one and a half billion dollars has been distributed. So that leaves about 32.1 billion dollars sitting in the state, city, and county coffers. Now, a recent internal audit uh, finds that that money is not all there. Um, we've got, this thing is a giant cluster. I mean, it is totally messed up. Anyway, that money needs to be distributed by the end of this month to the renters who are behind on payments. As of today, there is 11 and a half million renters who are behind on payments. That's 16% of everybody who is renting an apartment or a house is behind in their rent. In addition to that, there are 8 million homeowners who are behind on their mortgage. Now, nobody's, I asked the question and it's like, you look at, you know, stare blank 2000 yard stare when they asked the question, but I said, is that 8 million homeowners included in the 11 and a half million renters? In other words, are all the renters who are not paying the cause of the 8 million homeowners who are not making payments. Nobody has any idea. They have no clue. So those could be two separate subsets in theory. You could have 11 and a half million renters behind and 8 million homeowners behind for a 19 and a half million. Now I doubt that's the case, but I can tell you there is a big chunk of homeowners who are behind and they live in the residence. And the, and the reason I know this is because you know, we, we do a lot of business uh, with our housing companies, our housing businesses, plus we keep an eye on a lot of those of you who are in The Apprentice uh, and, and are getting leads from us. And so we have a real good feel for, you know, what's coming in and almost everything that comes in where the homeowner is behind on payments, they live in the house. So obviously that's not a, you know, we're not double counting. There's a separate renter someplace and this homeowner who live in the house. Those are two people who are behind on payments. I think the number could actually be higher than 8 million because this is based on a survey of the largest, what they're called, two, bank, two big to fail banks. These are the ones that in, the, in the movie that we showed a clip of a, you know, a few weeks ago in our um, equity buyout clinic. We may show that next week because I want people to understand that this could happen again. So maybe we should put that on for Tuesday, actually. Anyway, uh, private lenders are not weighing in and they're not part of that too big to fail group of 10 or 12 banks in the US that are reporting these 8 million uh, homeowners who are behind. So if there's a private lender, he's got a loan on a house, that loan's not being paid, that's not in that 8 million. So, you know, we could have a huge, huge, huge problem. I mean, much bigger than anybody's looking at. And the federal government's looking to the state governments and the state governments are like, well, we don't have an infrastructure to give the money out. Obviously, they got 33.6 billion. They've only given out one and a half billion. 
This thing is a total cluster. Um, only two states have proactively passed laws that says if a renter is in the process of obtaining one of these loans to pay back, or it's not even a loan, it's a, basically it's a, a grant or a gift from the state government through the federal government or from the federal government through the state government, it's actually a gift. And so this is a, a deal where... Um, these two states, are uh, Nevada and Minnesota, are the only ones who are saying, listen, if you've already filled out your form, we're not going to get you evicted because we know we'll get that money distributed. At least 48 states that are just out there going, we don't know what to do, including California. Now, our, our talking mouthpiece in Sacramento, Governor Newsom, has said everybody's going to get made whole. All of the landlords, all of the, the renters, but very little of that money has actually gone out because they don't have a procedure. Let me tell you why, or they don't have protocol and they don't have staff and it's it would be like all of a sudden getting 20 million foreclosures and you got three people in the foreclosure department. It's just, it's a total mess. Uh, the average form that the counties, states and cities have put together. Now this is a form that somebody who's desperate and has been unable to make their payments. Let's assume that most of these 11 and a half million renters who aren't making payments aren't doing it because they can, they're doing it because they have to. So let's assume, and, and these folks are pretty desperate, but the average form is 45 pages in length. Some states don't even have a form. And we are sitting here today, uh, the, the, 16, the 15th of July, there's 16 days left on this clock before this thing goes nuclear. So this is going to be probably one of the, I would predict one of the biggest problems in this business and almost everybody is asleep at the switch. Um, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. The federal government has indicated they're not going to extend things. Uh, the CDC will not be able to extend it because their, their deal has been ruled unconstitutional. So it is a ticking time bomb and is going to blow up at least in half the states, if not more. So we're gonna see what happens. I, there's extraordinary relief is already on the table, but it's not being used because it's sitting in state, city and county coffers. So it is, it's a big disaster. If this was private sector stuff, there'd be people in jail over this, but it's the federal government, the state government, city and county. And so they're immune from, you know, basically lawsuits unless it's uh, constitutional or they're intentionally doing something to harm somebody, which I, I don't believe they are. I just think they are totally disorganized and they can't get anything done. So I will keep you guys updated more frequently as we get down to the end of the month, but this is gonna create you know, some huge opportunities. We're already seeing them coming through on the Facebook ads. I see them in the Craigslist ads every day. There's more and more and more. The, 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 the number of ads is, is increasing geometrically on a daily basis. So uh, something's going to happen. Something's going to give. Uh, I think if you guys are wise, you keep your eyes open. Uh, you're going to see a lot of this stuff on your plate. You're going to be able to buy a lot of properties coming up. So um, anyway, that's it for news you can use.